Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long week and you're watching Cully Plays Animal Crossing. And as you can see, I've changed up my clothes a little bit. Paw prints all around. Seems only fitting for this wacky world of Animal Crossing. Apparently you can't hold any more letters in the allotted space you're given. So we're just gonna have to make haste with this. Grab my fossils. Fossil. Grab the fossil. With that little hamburger helper hand. Get the rest of my mail here. <clears throat> Yeah, they think my house sucks. It's okay though, I've come to terms with that. Snow. So you may have noticed a little raffle ticket in my bag there. And it's for- oh, new neighbor. I'll explain the raffle ticket later. This is my new neighbor, Amelia. She's an eagle, I take it from the way she says eaglet. Check her house. Very country living like Ava's house. Actually, it seems more like Native American living. That's a little fish there. So yeah, that raffle ticket in my bag, it's for the end of the month. I suppose I should probably explain it at a later date, like at the end of the month, because they draw for this raffle at the end of the month. So yeah, I bought something while no one was looking. I like this guy's, like, strongly worded language. You scamp. What up, furball? Also, this guy doesn't seem to wear clothes. He just wears a scarf. I think it might be a girl, actually. He doesn't really have that gruff-sounding, low-pitched voice that a that most of the male characters have. Sleeping on the job, sir? Oh, you don't have to explain anything to me, Blathers. Your apology is more than enough. I got something for you. Oh, I didn't open them. Well, this is cool with it, though. He's a pretty understanding guy. And I think just by looking at some of those bones that I had that they were doubles, so this might mean that I can make some cash off of these fossils. Bam! T-Rex torso! In your feathers, sir. And he just stuffs it in his pocket. Let's open Nintendo and their characters being able to fit whole skeletons in their pockets. I try to put my wallet in my pocket and, you know, no go. Not that it's jammed full of money or anything, but it's mostly jammed full of debt. Debt and sorrow. Oh, look, I did donate this before. Nice. Return the bur bones, Burns. My horrible speech impediment sh just shines right through. So yeah, I'll show you guys my museum here. I say mine because I'm the only one donating. If you go right up to the little fossil, it has a faceplate and it says who donated it and what it is. T your ex torso. Fits in your pocket. The T of the T Rex stands for tiny. Tiny Rexosaurus. That'd be 
be actually kind of adorable little baby mini T-Rexes. Who doesn't want a tiny Saurus? Boodle, 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 yeah! I'm surprised at this point I still actually have flowers outside of there. One big dinosaur egg! He's just like, yeah, I'm totally fine with buying your dinosaur bones. I like how they're selling a wheelbarrow full of dirt. It's okay, I'm actually here to buy his wheelbarrow full of dirt. At a later date, though. Go into my house. Oh, well, this is just plain silly. <laughs> I went into the wrong house. <laughs> oh god, I'm stupid. Here we go. See, I should- the knocking on the door should have given it away. Yeah, this is my dresser here. I just got it, like, yesterday. I'll just put my ticket in there. You can fit, like, a, a variety of items in, in there. I think there's some dressers that offer more space. Mine only offers three. So we'll just mill away some of these fossils, because we want to start completing our museum a little more. Once I get a fishing rod, I'll be able to get some fish. That should be nice. Fill up the museum with something else. Actually, I want to show you guys my letters that I wrote to my friends. Ooh, museum letter, huh? That should be good. I think it's pretty straightforward. She should be able to read it. I know if I was a chicken, I'd totally be able to read it. Dottie seems like the type of girl that likes to party. Have at you, Pelly. to Dottie. So you guys notice that I actually have enough money to pay off my entire debt there. I think I should probably pay that off now while I kind of have it here. Ooh, Triceratops skull. I don't think I, I don't have that in the museum actually. Letting me quit or delete it. Nope, no go. Mail letters, make deposit. Mail letters, make deposit. Ugh. I'm gonna make the deposit. You guys already seen me mail like a hundred letters, so. If not a hundred, then at least five. So yeah, it's just like the 10,000 that I owe. Hmm. This is good. <clears throat> oh, Animal Crossing controls are so hard. First world problems. No, that wouldn't be a first world problem. That would be a gamer problem. Controls are so hard, gamer problem. So anyway, yeah. Done. Do a little dance! Fuck yeah! Now debt free. So then we'll go hit up Nook over here. Tell him that we paid him back. It's funny because even if you say no, he'll... Well, I'll actually show you what happens when you say no.
for someone all of eight years old. Nah, man, it was cool. He lectures you on it, it's just like, no, you want a bigger house. I'm a damn raccoon, I will tell you what you want. Since I didn't have a purple to begin with, I'm gonna go with the purple. Where is it? There it is. Purple is a fine color indeed. It's actually my favorite color. That may be one of the questions that one of your neighbors asks you if you talk to them a lot. They'll be like, hey, yo, what's your favorite color? I would say purple. Let's talk to Tortimer. He, oh, we'll hit up the museum first. Wake up, Blathers! I made a big discovery! Take my bones! Bam. Now, as I said, Tortimer mostly comes out for the holidays, so I think it, this may be the quest that he gives you to turn on the lighthouse, because I think that's like the only other reason why he comes out, is that he's going on a an official vacation and he's like, hey yo, can you like take care of the lighthouse? Turn it on every day for like a week or so? I like his music, it just sounds like an old decrepit old man. Old decrepit old man. I should have just said decrepit old man. Oh, totally, I can surely help you out. As someone who works a full-time job IRL, I, I'm usually home by 6. I can totally be there right at 6, right on the dot, turning on your lighthouse. Yeah, I can do that. Right at 6. Second I get home, that lighthouse is tur getting turned on. No questions. You can count on me, old man. I actually did this quest once in a previous game, I remember now, and uh, I didn't- I missed like one day and he totally reamed me out for it. There's like puffs of smoke and he was stamping his feet, totally just lecturing me. I don't think he trusted me ever since then, at least in that game. I'm glad that town is over. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the video here. Stay classy!